Step number 33 for hope on the outside. Your health. How is your health? Are you okay? Fit as a fiddle? A little overweight? Do what's necessary to eat right, eat light, and drink what's good for you and not what's bad for you. Stop smoking if you can. Stop drinking alcohol if you do, or at least minimize it. Like, how about one beer a month? Social drinking from time to time, it's okay, but not every day and every night. That's got to stop. Work out, lose weight. I don't even want you smoking weed. I don't. You don't even have to eat much to stay alive. You know, eat to live. Don't live to eat. (laughs) I've been guilty of that myself. But the point is, is our health is all we've got. If we don't have our health, we don't have anything. And as you get older, you know, you've got to really say to yourself, I'm going to start curbing what I eat and be more conscious of what I eat and what I drink because I don't want the extra calories. I don't want the extra weight. I don't want the health problems that come from overindulging in foods that aren't good for me. You know, during the week, five days, eat well, eat healthy. On the weekends, spoil yourself. Have whatever you want, you know, a treat, something like that. I'm going to go have a steak or whatever, you know. I, I actually don't eat a lot of red meat. I'm a fish and chicken person, you know. I don't eat red meats. It takes too long to digest in the body, like days. I don't want that hanging around in my body. I drink a lot of water, 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 constantly water. I don't drink any sodas. I have a beer like once every three weeks. I love margaritas, but once every three to four weeks. So I'm trying to do my best. (laughs) Although if you really knew, uh, I have a very bad uh, sweet tooth, (laughs) you know, so sugar, chocolate, you know, I love that. I got to be careful. You know, I got to watch it. And I try to do that. Same with you. Try to do it too. We try, we take baby steps, and once you get into a habit of eating well, eating right, and check out my cookbook, Who's Hungry? I got all my meals in there, all the stuff that makes you eat good stuff and feel good, because that's the thing. Once you, you know, what do they say? Um, Feeling, or let's see, uh, thin tastes great, or I don't know what it is. You know, the point is, is when you're healthy and you're, you know, not eating like a pig, you actually feel better, and when you don't eat the bad stuff, don't eat the sugars, don't drink the stuff, before you know it, your body says, you know, I kind of like how I am. I don't like that sugar stuff anymore. I don't like drinking all that booze anymore. I don't like that. I can feel it. It's when you're in the zone of bad behaviors, eating and drinking, that you don't realize how horrible it is for your body. You know, like going to a fast food restaurant every night. You don't realize how bad that is until you quit. And a month later, you're like, you know, I haven't eaten that food in so long. I actually don't want that stuff. So there you go. Health. How's your health? Are you okay? Are you fit as a fiddle? Are you a little overweight? Do what's necessary to eat right, eat light, and drink the good stuff. Water. All day long. Be good and be healthy.